Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. We're going to be talking about Sri Lanka, a lot of horrible things going on over there, and we're going to start diving right in. So without further ado, this is an article that came in this morning out of the AP News. It's entitled Gas Lines and Scuffles, Sri Lanka Faces Humanitarian Crisis. I want you to understand that this is coming to a country near you. Around the country, around the world right now, governments are falling. You're seeing leaders fall. You are seeing establishments fall. You are seeing something that is absolutely unlike anything you've seen in, quite frankly, well over 50 years, um, even a 100-year cycle. Uh, that not only talk, We're not only talking about economies, talking about governments as well. And just so you know, I'm going to give you the update on what's happening with the president and some pretty interesting footage of the president fleeing right now. Uh, but just real quick, we're going to dive in here. Um, the 47-year-old, oh, hold on, here we go. Uh, this is right here. Uh, a few years ago, Sri Lanka's economy was growing strongly enough to provide jobs and financial security for most. It's now in a state of collapse, dependent on aid from India and other countries and its leaders desperately, as its leaders desperately try to negotiate a bailout with the IMF. And I'm telling you right now, the IMF, oh gosh, I can't stand central banks, but the IMF has its own issues right now because not only is it dealing with Sri Lanka, it's dealing with Italy. Italy is absolutely collapsing. That's bringing down the euro, putting pressure on it. And America is going to be affected. We have about two to three weeks uh, is my um, best guess and estimation uh, based on it, how close we are tied to the uh European, the IMF and, and the European Union. Now, right here, it says the collapse that led to political turmoil and protests on Saturday, demonstrators stormed the residences of both President, uh, oh, I'm not even going to try that one, and Prime Minister, not even going to try that one, in the, in the Speaker of the Parliament later uh, said, I'll try it, Rapakaza had agreed to resign Wednesday. Now, this is interesting uh, information right here because check this out. This, and we're still getting to this video. Um, Sri Lankan president has agreed to step down, officials say. This just came in about an hour ago. It says the news came after thousands of protesters furious over his government's inability to address crippling economic turmoil descended on the capital and stormed his home. First, I want to explain something. This is a long time coming. Sri Lanka's economy has been in absolute dire straits for well over a year and a half, okay? And it is built up to this. And as a matter of fact, they've seen rolling crazy blackouts for the last few weeks. Yet when they storm the presidential palace, you notice that uh, in the videos, the pool is crystal clear. So they obviously have no issues with power at the presidential palace. And that is why people are upset. It says right here, the family, the president's family has dominated Sri Lankan politics. Without fuel, the Sri Lankan economy is grinding to a halt. And again, remember, I want you to realize this. This is happening all over the world. Fuel crisis energy crisis and we have food issues okay and they're going to get worse into the spring i want people to understand that uh the sri lankans uh sri lanka's prime minister is no stranger to political shifts and uh rage filling the streets now we're going to get to this video here this is an interesting coming from uh friends of mine at wall street silver the video right here of the president fleeing right here uh on a military ship here we go. And I mean, they are hauling butt to get on that ship and get out. Sad, sad state of affairs when you can't stand up and help your people do everything you can. But it's obviously been a long time coming, like I said. Some other footage right here, um, again, from Wall Street Silver. He's absolutely crushing it. Um, Jim and Ivan, they're finally figuring it out. They get the real target of their anger, who their anger should be. And they're going after the central bank. And I want people to realize this too. This is going to be a theme. Remember Occupy Wall Street that came out uh, back in the, uh, uh, after the Great Recession had really broken out. Uh, people are starting to figure out that it's the central bank policies and the central banks that run the governments, all right? These leaders are pawns. Um, Jim, you're absolutely crushing it right here. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked out uh, Wall Street Silver on Twitter, I highly suggest you do it. Also, if you want to uh, follow me on Twitter, it's Economic Ninja. Uh, my handle is at Economy Ninja. 
uh, you could see the photos are just absolutely mind boggling. Uh, what's going on right now? Uh, protesters in the official uh, residence hanging out. I wonder if he's got actually a video of the pool. This is some night uh, riding that's going on. We'll play that for you real quick here. Obviously lighting structures on fire. I really highly doubt that the fire department's gonna respond to that one right now. Absolutely mind blowing. Uh, the video, here we go. Now this is interesting, anti-inflation, anti-government fleets of government vehicles seen scrambling to airports, Navy ships. And this is the one that we were just showing you, right? But they're in panic. The government's in panic. It's not only the economy that has collapsed now in Sri Lanka, but it is also the government. Now, I want you to also realize, too, is as this happens, and remember uh, earlier I was talking about uh, them reaching out to the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. The IMF has not only pressure right now for our Sri Lanka as they collapse, but Italy, and there's other countries that are following suit, I believe, in the next four to uh, six weeks, I believe that you're going to see, because the Netherlands are already starting to fire off right now, they're, they're protesting like crazy, the, the farmer protests, but I believe you're gonna start seeing uh, 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 people making their ways to the streets in uh, Italy here in the next four weeks. I think it's gonna start hitting fever pitch because their bond market is absolutely getting just decimated right now. You can see right here just the sheer amount of people that have taken to the streets. And the thing is, is once we're at this moment where the people have already taken over government buildings, um, the presidential palace, things like that, you have the, the police have no power. They've already gotten to that moment where it is absolutely, here's the pool that I mean, think about this, the pool, crystal clear. These poor people are having, having to go through uh, uh, rolling blackouts, all kinds of issues. And the president at any moment can just jump into his crystal clear pool and enjoy. As a matter of fact, most of these people in the pool have probably never swam in a pool this clear and clean. It's very, very, it's a sad state of affairs. Guys, put down in the comment section what you think of what's going on in Sri Lanka. Um, I wanted to bring you this breaking news about the president resigning. I think it's absolutely stellar. Again, we're going to leave on that note. Sri Lankan president has agreed to step down, officials say. Excellent, excellent work. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching. The Academic Ninja is out.